Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just uploaded a video about some things that were going on with Orin and Orson West. Well, just now they um have a article on bakersfieldnow.com, which is someone I'm also following on Facebook. They post stuff too. And they just posted um on the private investigator searches for the missing boys in <sighs> Tehachapi after a tip. So basically, I'm going to read this article, but they're saying that um, there was a tip that came in about this lady seeing some missing boys with two men. And this information is given by a private investigator. Now, one thing I will say, I don't necessarily like how this private investigator is moving. If you're not aware, a couple of days ago, there has been a private investigator who is working on this case. I think he's retired. And so now he's just picked this up or something. But the thing about it is like, he talked too much. If you're a private investigator, you're just that a private investigator. And I feel like, yes, his job is to investigate and find things, but then he's putting everything that he finds when he could kind of, you know, break the case, but he's putting everything out to the public. And so he puts his face out there and everything and everybody knows who he is, what he looks like, you know, and so I don't like the way he moves. I mean, if something came officially from the police that they found evidence, okay, then they can put that out. But if your job is to privately investigate, why are you running to the public and people? I, I don't like it. So basically, it's like he's kind of blowing his cover. And like, if these kids were here and if they were still here with this private investigator putting this information out before they actually found them you know they could move them but let's go ahead into the story so bill garcia which is a private investigator um for more than 30 years started working on the missing boys case or in orson west last saturday so he just started literally a couple of days ago the three or the four and three year old were the last seen by the adoptive parents at their home in california city on december the 21st garcia says he met a woman in california city who said her mother saw the boys at the Albertsons parking lot in Tehachapi on December the 23rd. She said that once she saw the news report about the missing boys, that she was sure that was the boys with these two adults, which were both male. Garcia, owner of Bill Garcia Investigative Services, said, He says the woman claims one of the men was African American and the second one could have been. He says they were in the 20s to 30s and dressed normally. She claimed that she saw them walking for the Albertsons through the parking lot. And each person had a hold on one of the boys' hands. But there wasn't any deliberate attempt to move away from them or anything like that. It seemed normal. He says the woman contacted California City Police and has not heard back. Eyewitness News has contacted California City Police and has not heard back. Garcia tells Eyewitness News he thinks the best place to look for Orin and Orson West is in the rural, isolated parts of Tehachapi, like Sand Canyon and surrounding areas. It is desolate for the most part, with the exception of some ranches, and these would be a good area for someone to dispose of a body if that's what they're looking for. Garcia says while he is while he and his investigators look for Orin and Orson this Friday and Saturday, it will be helpful for volunteers who want to help to pass out flyers to locals in the San Canyon area. The thing about it is like, what's, let's say that the boys are not like bodies. Let's say they are alive and maybe they're being held in a house. Um, I think before they have the confirmation and the searches, I don't know. It's like they could move them. This isn't any official, this isn't anything official, you know what I'm saying? This is just a report of a sighting. So, like I said, the police would have came out and say, hey, we have official confirmed mm -hmm. evidence. Then it's like, okay. But with this being a speculation right now, it's like, I would prefer them to work on that, go to that area, search him being private, you know, and, and maybe search that way, if they're still there, they could be found. Mm -hmm. But with this evidence now coming, or with this coming out now, not so much evidence, but with this coming out now, prior to any searches that's going on there, um, it's like, okay, if someone had kidnapped them, right? What if the two men live in that area and they have them in the house and they, they see this story and I'm like, okay, now we need to go somewhere else. So i rather them go to the shop or wherever that parking lot is, to that place, search the cameras 
you know, um, maybe if they get a license plates number and then backtrack it to a home. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm in this group and they're posting. But the thing is, is he's putting out the information before they actually do the search. All he put out was that somebody gave a tip, but you don't even know if you just blew it. You know, I don't like this. I don't like how he working. So let me know what you guys think. This this is um, you know, Bakersfield now. But I don't like how this private investigator is moving. I just feel like a private investigator is just that. He's there to get the information, and I feel like, you know, like I said, if there was confirmed evidence, like we found this, okay, put it out there. But in the process, like. Oh, they could be in this area. And before we search, we're going to tell the whole world. And we're going to tell the whole world that they were with two men prior to us actually working on that tip. And then they could be moved or anything. You know what I'm saying? So I don't like this at all. Because apparently if this was them, they were with two people. And they there haven't been no bodies found yet. So they could be alive. But with him putting this information out there, I feel like, like, okay, I feel like all of us are really want to know what's going on with this case. And I feel like there should be boundaries. Yes, we want to know. But like I said in my last video, just because we don't know everything doesn't mean they're not working. And I feel like some people, if they work in this case, they shouldn't be such people pleasers. Like, I don't know. Like, he should not have just went on camera and said, like, Oh, yeah, the, the sighting and the boys, da, da 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 Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm overreacting and maybe someone would think I'm wrong and maybe think what he did is right. But I just feel like if there was a chance that these boys were alive in that area with these two men, these men, with this being a Bakersfield news outlet, more than likely have seen this and more than likely are now gone. But then again, they will to, to Hachapi. Like, I really don't know where that is. But... It's like right next to them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like maybe they were there in that area. But now that someone has put it out there prior to trying to really find out, they're, they're moved. They moved. So I feel like they should have investigated it first. Or at least put it out there maybe the day of. Like, oh, we're here searching. Because that's usually what I see. You know, they wait till like the day before or the day of um, to let everyone know they're going to search. But they're talking about they're not going to search till like Saturday and this was just Wednesday and like they just I don't know I don't like that so it's a possible sighting they need to go to that area they need to search let me see if I can find what Albertsons is okay so it's just a grocery store something that's not in my area so I didn't know what it was so they were in the grocery store apparently and um I mean if this is them I'm not saying it's them it could be anyone um, but I'm just saying, you know, I would feel like if the private investigator received that tip, then he should have took and worked up a team of people or whatever and privately investigated if that was those boys rounding up camera footage, um, cars, license plates, the direction they went in. You know, before just putting everything out there. And then it's it's just blown. So, this is what we have. This is something new. Tell me what you guys think, okay? You guys will see me, of course, again later. Bye-bye.